LED strips are a great way to add lighting to just about any project. However, you have to be aware that there are two types and it's very important which one you design for because they are not compatible. This is a basic LED strip and I say basic meaning in fact I would call this one a direct LED strip because it gives you four wires a um, in this case, this will be a common anode, which means you provide a positive voltage supply for all three colors, red, blue, and green, and then they give you the cathode for uh, red, blue, and green, and that gives you four pins. And so using a few transistors, um, or yeah, I would say a few transistors, you will be able to independently control the, all the reds, all the blues, or all the greens. And um, you, you couldn't hook this directly up to a pin of a microcontroller because there's like 50 LEDs on here. So obviously, you're, that's why I said you need a transistor. Okay, but that's, that's just because there's a lot of LEDs. Um, however, I, uh, like I said, all the, green, uh, all the reds, all the greens, and all the blues are um, their own channel, their own uh, wire. So you can't selectively control, a, you know, I, I couldn't have LED 3 turn on if I turn on green, all the greens on every single one comes on. If you need more control, or you want to be able to do some fading, or sort of a rainbow effect that travels down um, or simply have a repeating pattern of red, blue, green, red, blue, green or anything like that where you need to be able to specifically set the color of a single LED you need an addressable LED strip. Now this one's white and this one's black that has nothing to do with whether or not it's addressable. The, the only way to tell it, well there's, there's two ways I would say um, the addressable LEDs, if you look very, very closely, there's a little black dot in the LED itself. And this is a chip. This is a, a little microchip. Well, I shouldn't say microchip. Um, micro, so, some, kind of, some kind of integrated circuit, okay? And it is, it, it has a serial interface on it. And there's actually a data in pin and a data out pin to send to the next LED. And so uh, these three wires here are, you've got your ground is white, red is VCC or positive voltage, and then green is actually the data pin. The thing about addressable LEDs is you can't just plug this thing into a battery and immediately have light. You need some kind of controller, perhaps an Arduino, to transmit data and individually set the brightness of each LED. These are the direct uh, LEDs and they came with a little infrared controller so I can, I'm going to turn them on and I can set the color to you know a few different options here but of course notice that every one of them is the same color even if it's uh, you know, fading or strobing or all, you know, whatever it is, they all have to be the same color. Now with the addressable LEDs, I can do something more like this. Wait a second and you'll see this sort of chain effect. So of course that can't be done with the other set that we looked at. Um, but the addressable LEDs give you that extra control. So if you're choosing LEDs to use for your project, um, keep that in mind. If all you need is a single color, whatever color you want, that's uh, you can just use the regular LED strips. They'll, they'll be cheaper than the addressables, but you'll know, I think you'll know when you need addressable LEDs. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps. See you next time.